morning and thank you for joining us on the program Insights. I'm Ulua Shing Omakiola. On Insight this week, my encounter with the youthful and vibrant monarch who has no interest whatsoever in the worship of the gods of the land will surely interest you. The Ulu War of Uwu Land is Imperial Majesty Oba Abdurashid Adewale Akambi Teluwan told me so much about the real meaning of Urudua. It traces his ancestral heritage and claim to the throne of Oni of Ife. Shares his thoughts on the traditional institutions in Nigeria. He equally spoke to me about some controversial issues. The row with Oluwoki, his Canadian citizenship and the allegation that the monarch is actually a fraud star. I'm sure you will find this very interesting. Enjoy it. We came into Iwo land and we saw that the land is being represented by a parrot, the one called Udidere yes. in Yoruba land. What is the relationship between Iwo land and Iwo history and the parrot? The uh, importance of um, Udidere um, to Iwo is a very great one that the history has been under told and never been told and um, my coming God has given me the insight to know more history and better history not distorted history not the history that was written for us by the white people talking about deeper into history and with the wisdom of God which I mean the wisdom of Allah the same thing that he used to give uh, Moses prophet Moses he gave him the insight to know the creation of the world Moses was the one that wrote the creation of the world. The world land is the only predicted land with a symbol in the whole world on planet earth. There are many promised land. There are many predicted land before which is the, in the Bible about the promised land. But this one is a promised land that was predicted with a symbol. It was predicted by the only female or neofife, not a regent, who ruled in the 10th century. Her name is she was the only female Oni of and she's the 16th Oni of Ife. I am the 16th Oluwu of Iwo land and my coronation, which I didn't plan the date, governor gave the date, was on the 16th of January 2016. When my child was born, Odudua, that was just born, was born on the 16th of November 2016. All these are signs that God has brought. And why I'm saying Iwo land is the only predicted land, which, is, which means is the promised land. We are now, we have reached the promised land. Iwo land might have, not been, might have not been known before, but known for being ancient. But today, the promised land is here to stay. Iwo land is the land that is called the world doesn't want truth. Ayekoto, Iwo land is the truth. The whole land is the promised land because this land was promised. God actually told the, the first female or Neofife, who is, her name is Lu Bagida, to give the crown, the, the same crown on her head, to give it to her son, her son called Adekola Telu. And she told his son, You are taking this crown to the land and the abode of the parrots, which is Odidera. And if you don't get there, don't wear the crown. If you don't get to this land that we are talking about, don't stop until you get there. Telu's uh, journey was like Moses in the desert. Yes, Telu actually took 40 years going round from Ogundibari, first got to Ogundibari. She trusted in the God that told her to give the child, to go and find the land of the parrots. And he trusted her, the mother. That's faith. The same faith that you find were the prophets of the old. Now, Adikola Telu is the son of uh, uh, the Lu Ubagida. She is the son of Lu Ubagida. No, did he have uh, siblings? During that time, Adikola Telu was the only son. Was the only son because he was the Aremo. He was the he was the Aremo that time. Yes. So he was sent to another land. He was sent to. He was sent not to another land. He was sent to go and look for the land of the parrots. Uh, yes. Which is the promised land. And here is the land of the power. And he went all the way for over 40 years and he died five kilometers away. He, from Ife, he got to Ogundibara, from where the Oshun and Oba River meets. From there, 
After a while, he moved to Erumu. He settled there for a while. He left. Then from there, he still because he cannot stay because he's still looking for the land of the pirates. The pirates. After a while, then he moved to a place called Igbo Rita. And in Igbo Rita, he was there, have kids, and then passed away. Now, who, who now got to the Now the fourth the generation now. Got to the land Yeah, the, the great-grandson were the one that actually moved further east. And this is where they found, at uh, this palace, this place is where they found the abode, the home of the pirates, where they nest, where they live. What the mother told him is to find the land of the only thing that speaks besides human. And the pirate is the only creature that speaks besides human. And this is the land of the, today, we're in the land of the pirates. But Telu never got here that time. Mm. But the day I was installed, November 9th, not my coronation mm. date. The November 9th that I was installed, that I was announced. Soon as I got to the entrance of a war like this, people were shouting, Ilufe Miloye, we, we want you to be king. king. Ilufe Miloye, we want you as our king. Boom. And there and then, I got the message. Right there, the same message that told me that I would be king. That's the way God talks to me. The same way that God told me that I will be king against all odds. Just move from Canada and go to Nigeria and you will become the king. And here I am. And on that same day, November 9th that I was installed, I heard the same voice telling me, you are Telu. When people are calling me, Lufe Miloe, Lufe Miloe, and God told me, you are Telu. The one that didn't go here the first time, you are now back as Telu. It is a process of plugging and unplugging. Adewale was taken out. Until it was plugged in. I'm interested in a bit of history. That's what I wanted to take a look at before yes. we go on. Uh, the first is, you once said in an interview that your descendants could become Orni. Yes. How? Back in the days, Orion was able to go back to Ife and become the king. Huh? Because he was a warrior and uh, he was feared. The feared. Huh? Hmm. Yes. He got there and the king that was there had to leave. But now, you can't do that now. Huh? Even if you are a general in the army or a field marshal, you can't do that now. Now, it's about gazetted laws. It's about declaration. You have a declaration in place that will actually put you in the gazette that you are Iwo as a ruling house in Ife that is gazetted. What's the name of the ruling house in Ife? It's called, it's called Lafogido ruling house. But I, I, our family, in, um, which is that um, and the mother, Lu Ogba Gida's ruling house, now, falls on La, La, La Fugido ruling house. Different families form a ruling house. Mm. But our own family there is called Luwo Owodo royal family. Isn't this controversial? It's not. It is about going back and, and knowing where you're coming from. Let me tell you, if you don't know where you're coming from, you're actually lost and you don't know where you're going. I have to go know my past. I have to know where I'm coming from. And I, I was able to know that. Not just by mere talking. I'm talking about divine inspiration that is guiding me to do all this. What's the authenticity of your story? The authenticity, you can check Luo Wodo Royal Family and check Lafogido Ruling House. I know Lafogido. Uh -huh. So, uh, there is families from Lafogido. It's on, not only one family forms a ruling house. Mm. Under a ruling house, different families. So, and those are the families that are, uh, that are confirmed and gazetted under the law to become the king even my seat is there now on the day we joined uh that the day i went to ife it's a triumphant day a triumphant entry i went to ife and we marched this together the house the wodolu royal family and the wosto was marched together to tell them you are our son come back on they even were when they were hearing all what i was talking about i was talking about Lu Bagida because when god when I was crowned and I was made the king, when God gave me the soul of Telu, let me tell you, I can just tell you that I'm just even getting, getting to Iwo right now. Because the day when I've, they have been taking me far as far as the time of Ududua, even time before Ududua, they took me back. Who took you back? God. I can see those. Yes. When are, you, you can. are you spiritual? Man, very, very spiritual. You're a spiritual being? Yes. How? Div divinely sent by God. To do what? To redeem his image. To tell us 
that are in our tradition and culture, there is no idolatry. There is no religion. The same way you know that Islam and Christianity were brought to us. It's an idea by, uh, what's it called? Idolatry is an idea by some ignorance who don't know, who actually p- brought idolatry for their own selfish and personal gain. Are you calling the worship of Ogun idolatry? Yeah, you are. Oh, thank you for even bringing Ogun. What is Ogun? Ask yourself. You have to be able to challenge the status quo. When you are in 2017 and you still believe, yes, we can celebrate Ogun. We can actually uh, celebrate this festival, remember him. Huh? But do you have to worship? Ask yourself. Is there any worshipping of Ogun or worshipping of Shungu or worshipping any idol? Is it in our tradition and culture? It will not show. Uh, yes. Should I worship Oshun? If Oshun comes to my palace now as a lady, what would she do? Ask you, if Oshun was alive today and he comes to my palace, what would she do? Oshun is a goddess. How, uh, is she, was she not alive? Was she human before, like you? But she's now a goddess. I'm asking you, when she was alive, it was when she died. That's when they call her a goddess. If Oshun was alive today, if Yemaja if Marimi was alive today, when she gets here, what would she do? They became gods when they left. When they God. left. But I'm saying when they were alive. I'm asking you a question. When they were alive. I'm telling you about when they were alive. And now when you, when you gave them the goddess status after they died. They are deified. When they were alive. I'm a king when they were alive. I'm asking you, what would she do if she comes to my house? There was a difference between when they were alive and when they huh. dead. I'm asking you a question. You are not actually answering me. I'm the one asking you a question. No, I, ask, and I, 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 I'm asking you. You said or soon to worship or soon or to worship marry me or or, or, or yeah or something. And I'm asking you, if I was a king when they were alive, I'm, I'm the king. If she was alive today and she comes to my palace. If I was the king when she was alive. That, that was why I told you, Kabis, that they were not gods when they were alive. When they were, uh, so, they were humans. So who made them gods? Did they, did they say they were gods? I will tell you the story of how all these gods came to be. Tell me the story. Okay. I will start from, uh, I will start from Ogun. Ogun is actually the name that they gave to iron. Ask yourself, has iron, be, has iron been in existence before Ogun? Or Ogun was the one that brought iron? Huh? It's a question of uh, which one came first. Is okay. it the egg or the hen? So I'm asking you, is the iron there before then? Or was is it Ogun that brought iron? That was not there then. O- Ogun is just a what? Is a blacksmith. That's why they call him Alagbe Diorun. That time there were not so many innovations. That was, those were the dark days. What happened? People fight wars. The only thing you used to survive that time is to go and loot. More raiders. That's what they do, looting back and forth. I know all this because I'm, I, I, I was taken back to that time mm-hmm. to see how and how everything is. Then, Ogun, actually, the name is not Ogun. His name was Oshi, Oshimale. But he was the first one during that time when people were using clubs and sticks to fight, to go and raid. Do you know what Oshimale did? Oshimale was the first one to actually be able to put iron ore and canal, palm canal shells together. When you put these two together, it forms metal. Oshimole was the first one to put this together, make metal, and start using it, uh, and start melting a weapon. He melt weapon. And when he melts weapon, he was using this to conquer many walls. That's what Oshimole did. Now, and he started he was not revealing the secrets of how he was. That's why he was fighting wars when he, when people were using sticks to beat to beat people. He was using cutlass mm. to cut people. That's why he was called Ugo Lominle Fejewe, person that bats with that shower with blood. And he started using it to win many wars. He he, he gave some some of them to his followers. So other places that they don't have this kind of technology. What did they say? The only thing they were looking for is what? Is the brain of Oshimale. So you see why now they call Oshimale Ogunlakaye? No. It's the, it is the, it is the um, accent of the Ife Ijesha Anekiti that turns it to Lakaye. It was Lakaye, which is the brain. People were now looking for iron, the brain of Oshimale. They consider iron which is Ogun, 
the brain ogun la ka yi osimole it was hearing the brain of osimole ogun the brain of osimole people we are now looking for the brain of osimole people who don't have it now we are looking for the brain of osimole i will tell you how they started worshiping when Oshim, when osimole now died before he died people they want to me- they want to have him in memory they want to be able to remember him forever that time there was no paper there was no crayon there was no pen there was nothing to write with. there's nowhere to even put anything there were palm fonts houses were made of palm fonts so how do you remember somebody and how do you be able to put that person in your memory the only way the only thing they know how to do that time is what crafting they, now they carve they were all these carved images were made for memory say they were not made for worship but it is after they died anybody that they carved in this kind of euphoria when they die people die because there was so much poverty and so much uh, uh, fear in the, in, the, in the days of the past what do people do when they want to go to war now they don't believe in a god that they don't see they want a god that they can see and what they what they resulted to was what the card images of when somebody wants to go to war now for example when somebody wants to go to war now and is scared to go to war is scared to go to for him to go and come back that he might not be able to come back so they go to the statue of ogun and say the same way you go to wars and come back huh i want to come, i want to go and come back to people start worshiping huh people now when they want to go to wars many people and you know many people want go to war during that time so people now refer to ogun as the only the god that can make them to win wars mm. other than thinking about is just using what it's just using a cutlass same god is saying idolatry is not good don't make any other thing besides me a king do you know what who i am when i'm a king i am the representative of god on earth has solomon ever seen a church or a mosque he built a temple a temple i'm asking you it about built, a church it built a temple was there christianity a temple is a place of worship let me tell you a temple is a place of he built a temple which is a palace that he himself is living in because they are the only place that you can see the abode of god on earth during that time when there was no christianity and islam is the palace but there was a difference between a palace and the temple the palace is the house of god the palace is the house of the king is the who is the king a king is the leader of the people only no 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 you don't understand kingship in, in spirituality tell me king is god i am not the king only so god you? only god i am answering to the name we call something in yoruba language Uluru Koba. i am bearing the name of god i am a shadow i am actually not the king only god is the king I am sent as a messenger to represent and sit here so that this place will not be what so that what you cannot see I believe in the unseen I, I'm trying to see the difference between what you believe now yes. and what the traditional believers will also believe you they are believe- saying traditional believers I'm asking you traditional believers they believe in a supreme God and they worship him why through would a you means. put our tradition and culture and mess it up and put it together with idolatry what's the difference it's a religion and we have tradition and culture mm. idolatry is a religion show me the difference tradition culture and then religion now you are saying traditional belief so you want to tell me that idolatry is is what odudua never know any of these they came they all came Oshun came after odudua shango was a king in oyo how about so, batala Obatala Odudua defeated Obatala so how is he going to worship Obatala Odudua Odudua met Obatala in Ife and beat him down took uh, and, 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 and was a king over him Odudua was never deified yeah because he, he did not say that anybody should worship him Odudua became the father of Yoruba land because of what? because of his achievement this is what is actually creating problems for us in Yoruba land we have embedded idolatry and worshiping of idols a tra- which is a religion into our tradition and culture and our tradition and culture has no place with that it was people who are looking for a way to confirm their own religion that they, they have actually done 
a lot of damage to our tradition and culture. Today, do you know what is what has happened to our tradition and culture? What? Our tradition and culture is you prostrating for your dad. Eh, eh we talking drum. The way you greet, the way you say things to elders, the, uh, our culture, Agbada, where does worshipping of idol comes in? Now today, because of the tra- uh, because of the worshiping of idolatry that you put as part of our tradition and culture, today, if a 17 year old or 20 year old go to Unilag or University of Baden and wear Ufi with these beads that means nothing other than our culture and religion, do you know what they will call him? Do you know what, what they will what call will him? What would they call him? They call him maybe he's, a, he's in a court. He's into he's in is a is a tradi- uh, is a worshiper of idols. That is fetish. Is fetish today. The throne of God on earth, which is the throne of kings, are being called fetish. If, if, are, eh? are you not up against the, those who worship these gods? In your own kingdom, there are people who worship these gods. Are you not against them now? I, I, it, I'm trying to show them the right way. Even when so God was... They, so there should be it, Muslim or Christian? No, I'm not telling them there to be Muslim. should be what? I'm, not, I'm telling them to know one God. One God. The same God. You see... Uh, God is there like the whole times. We the one that we are not worshipping God like the whole times. If you give everything to one God and you are not looking for a God that you can see, the same thing Moses did. After all the miracles and everything that God did for Moses, do you know God? And Moses is still saying to God by asking God that I want to see your face. So how do you worship God now? You don't need to try to see God. Just imagine and you, and you pray to God. I worship God through doing good for humanity. I think about love. To love my brothers. And to do good for my people all day. To impact the life of what? Of men. Millions. If I can impact the life of billions, I would love to. Because that is service. When you serve you will become a master. So to you, service is religion? To my, to, to my. You don't have to be disturbing God with your begging, begging, begging. Oliver Twist all the time. What you do, you don't become Oliver Twist every day. What you do is to go and do what? Is to go and be serving the people. God, do you know why God became God? Do you know what is God? That is the perfect master. The all over master. Do you know why he became God? Because he served the whole world. He's the servant of the whole world. God is a servant? God, that's why he became leader. For you to become the best leader, you have to serve. God serves us. Do you, do, you, do, do you think you worship God? All you do is begging. You ask. You ask him. The person provided. I, I, don't, I don't beg God. You beg God for everything every day. You are a beggar. I don't, you, I'm not a beggar. You, what do you do? I, I speak with God. You speak with God and beg him for money and beg, beg him, him for uh, protection. Do you I, beg him? No, you, but you ask God for protection. I, I don't beg him. No, but you ask him. But do you beg him? No, I'm asking you. I don't beg him. I no, just told what you. I do, I just told you, I serve the people. And that's why I'm serving God. So do you talk to God? Yes. How? I do talk to God. Thanksgiving. What do you tell him? Thanksgiving. What do you tell him? Thanks, thank you for this. If there is anything, I just thank God and I move forward from there. I believe that's over. You don't have any conversation with God? Like, uh, be asking, uh, oh, uh, money, uh, bless me with this. No. You I, just, when we started this, before, oh, before I put on the record, yes, you just spoke to God. I thank God. No, you said, I he grant you wisdom. Yeah. You begged him for wisdom. Then I thank him for doing this. I thank him for it. You have to thank God for it. When you thank God for it, then you say, and then you can thank ask you him. God. Thank you. But I'm still telling you that we all ask God. So you are against idolatry? Idolatry is, is against anything what is godly. But you are a king over... Christian, Muslims, and idol worshippers. But the same you are a king. God, the, but the same God is saying idolatry is not good. Don't make any other thing besides me. A king. Do you know what, who I am when I'm a king? I am the representative of God on earth. Has Solomon ever seen a church or a mosque? He built a temple. 
a temple i'm asking you it, about it, a church it built a temple. was there christianity a temple is a place of worship let me tell you a temple is a place of he built a temple which is a palace that he himself is living in because they are the only place that you can see the abode of god on earth during that time when there was no christianity and islam is the palace but there was a difference between a palace and the temple the palace is the house of god the palace is the house of the king is the who is the king a king is the leader of the people only no 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 you don't understand kingship in, in spirituality tell me king is god i am not the king only so what god, are you only god i am answering to the name we call something in Yoruba language Uluru Koba. I am bearing the name of God. I am a shadow. I am actually not the king. Only God is the king. I am sent as a messenger to represent and sit here so that this place will not be what? So that what you cannot see. I believe in the unseen. I, I'm trying to see the difference between what you believe now yes. and what the traditional believers will also believe. You they are believe- saying traditional believers. I'm asking you. Traditional believers, they believe in a supreme God and they worship Him through a means. Why would you put our tradition and culture and mess it up and put it together with idolatry? What's the difference? It's a religion and we have tradition and culture. Idolatry is a religion. Show me the difference. Tradition, culture, and then religion. Now you are saying traditional belief. So you want to tell me that idolatry is, is what... Odudua never know any of these. They, came, they all came. Oshu came after Odudua. Shango was a king in Oyo. How about so, Obatala? Ob, Obatala was, uh, 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 Odudua defeated Obatala. So how is he going to worship Obatala? Odudua, Odudua met Obatala in effect and beat him down. Took uh, and, 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 and was a king over him. Odudua was never deified. Yeah, because he, he did not say that anybody should worship him. Odudua became the father of Yoruba land because of what? Because of his achievement. This is what is actually creating problems for us in Yoruba land. We have embedded idolatry and worshipping of idols, a tra- which is a religion, into our tradition and culture. And our tradition and culture has no place with that. It was people who are looking for a way to confirm their own religion that they, they have actually done a lot of damage to our tradition and culture. Today, do you know what is what has happened to our tradition and culture? What? Our tradition and culture is you prostrating for your dad. Eh, ewi. Talking drunk. The way you greet. The way you say things to elders. The, our culture. Agbada. Where does worshipping of idol comes in? Now, today, because of the tra- uh, because of the worshiping of idolatry that you put as part of our tradition and culture, today, if a 17 year old or 20 year old go to Unilag or University of Ibadan and wear Ofi with these beads that means nothing other than our culture and religion, do you know what they will call him? Do you know what, what they will what call What would him? they call him? They call him maybe he's, a, he's in a cult. He's into he's in is a is a tradi- uh, is a worshiper of idols. That is fetish. Is fetish today. The throne of God on earth, which is the throne of kings, are being called fetish. If, if, are, you, eh? are you not up against the, those who worship these gods? In your own kingdom, there are people who worship these gods. Are you not against them now? I, I, it, it, I'm trying to show them the right way. Even when so God they, was... So they should be it, Muslim or Christian? No, I'm not telling them they to be Muslim. should be what? I'm, not, I'm telling them to know one God. One God. The same God. You see... Uh, God is there like the whole times. We the one that we are not worshipping God like the whole times. If you give everything to one God and you are not looking for a God that you can see, the same thing Moses did. After all the miracles and everything that God did for Moses, do you know God? And Moses still sing to God by asking God that I want to see your face. So how do you worship God now? You don't need to try to see God. Just imagine and you, and you pray to God. I worship God through doing good for humanity. I think about love, to love my brothers and to do good for my people all day to impact the life of what? Of men, millions. If I can impact the life of billions, I would love to. Because that is service. When you serve, you will become a master. So to you, service is religion. To my, to, to my. 
You don't have to be disturbing God with your begging, begging, begging. Oliver Twist all the time. What you do, you don't become Oliver Twist every day. What you do is to go and do what? Is to go and be serving the people. God, do you know why God became God? Do you know what is God? That is the perfect master. The all over master. Do you know why he became God? Because he served the whole world. He's the servant of the whole world. God is a servant. God, that's why he became leader. For you to become the best leader, you have to serve. God serves us. Do you, do, you, do you think you worship God? All you do is begging. You ask. You ask him. The person provided. I, I, don't, I don't beg God. You beg God for everything I don't every day. Beg. You are a beggar. I don't, you, I'm not a beggar. You, what do you do? I, I speak with God. You speak with God and beg him for money and beg, beg him, him for uh, protection. Do you <laughs> beg him? No, you, but you ask God for protection. I, I don't beg him. No, but you ask him. But do you beg him? No, I'm asking you. I don't beg him. I no, just told what you. I do, I just told you, I serve the people. And that's why I'm serving God. So do you talk to God? Yes. How? I do talk to God. Thanksgiving. What do you tell him? Thanksgiving. What do you tell him? Thanks, thank you for this. If there is anything, I just thank God and I move forward from there. I believe that's over. You don't have any conversation with God. Like uh, be asking, uh, oh, uh, money and uh, bless me with this. No, you I, just when we started this before, uh, before I put on the record. Yes, you just spoke to God. I thank God. No, you said I should grant you wisdom. Yeah, you begged him for Let wisdom. Then I thank him for doing this. I thank him for it. You have to thank God for it. When you thank God for it, then you say, and then you can thank ask you him. for Thank you. But I'm still telling you that we all ask God. We're begging God. Kavisi, uh, in an interview that I read recently, you yes. said you have more than 29 kings under you. Yes. Does that include the Oluwoke? Yes. But there's a rift between you and him. Uh, he, he doesn't I, believe that that you are superior. I, I recall an incident in Ife where he was asked to greet his father. And that refers to you. And he refused. Hmm, you see, um, I don't want to talk about, but I can actually, I can tell you. Um, Oliolu was too. Huh? Has been uh, misrepresented. For a long time. Ask yourself, what is Olu? Who is Olu? Eh? Hmm. Olu, or do you mean know what it means? It is the crown that it is Olu, not the person. Tell you that I'm talking about. Hmm. Eh? Is a son of a chief. Eh? The mother that became king was the, was the wife of a what? A chief. Huh? So where did... If you are a son of a chief and your mother is the, is the wife of a chief, where is the crown from? Hmm. That's what you ask yourself. The institution is different from the person. Telu never had any crown. Telu's father has no crown. Telu's father has no crown to give him. The mother has no crown to give him until the mother became only through where? Through our own father's lineage. This has not been, this history has not been told ever. So everybody believes the father of Oluo is the chief called Obalon. Huh? Mm. The father of Oluo and the mother of Oluo, I will tell you right now, is not Obalon. The father of Telu is Obalon. Mm. But the father and mother of Oluo is that crown. And where is that crown from? It's the lineage of Odudua. And that's why we are able to bring it back and go to Ife. And we have a ruling house in Ife. As the own for a prince from Iwo eh, to be able to contest the stool of the ordinary. Eh? Hmm. 
So are, are you now getting me? Before the stool of the Olu has been, uh, 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 has been downgraded to the son, the son of a chief. Obalon just became a king just uh, of recent, during the time of Shijuade. If Obalon was alive, eh, today, I'm greater than him. The Olu is too. It's greater and bigger. Because the crown is from where? It's from the house of Odudua. Even when the, when the woman becomes the king, do you know what Obalon has to do? He has to prostrate every time. Huh? Hmm. To his own wife. He's a head. Oluo is too. The brothers and sisters of Oluo are the house of Odudua. The brothers and sisters of Telu are the house of Obalon. You compared Oluo uh, okay with Iyofo Orogi. <laughs> where does this man get all his... Uh, where do you get all his... <laughs> Are you following me everywhere? No, I'm not. But you uh, yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, well, where you got uh, all the smokes? This guy. Who are you? I'm only watching. <laughs> I'm just a journalist <laughs> doing my job. <laughs> well, I don't want to go into it. The matter has been resolved, and uh, it, it was a, it was a sad story. For that's how kingship has gone down to. For. For, it was a star story for any king to take another king to court mm. when it's not then about uh, uh, yes so I'm going to leave that alone but it was a very very sad and bitter story that uh, people has to be uh, people has to go down and call names and stuff like that it's, so I will, I, will, I will forget just forget about that when are you going to resolve this matter are you going to call him and then resolve this matter no that one will be resolved I'm the president of the tra- of the world traditional Council. So when is it going to be? I am the president, which means it doesn't matter the brother, the sister, the uncle, the father, the mother, or anything. I am the president of the World Traditional Council. So that is going to be resolved. It's been resolved. Forget about it. Is the king above the law? No, the king is not above the law. The king is not above the law, but there was. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. When, yeah. They, they don't start. It's, it's gone, it's gone. Why didn't you, you just see appear all in what, court? Don't Why? you see all? Why didn't you appear at the court? Don't you see all what I was saying? All this while. Yes, I know. Do you, don't you think that will bring controversy and some kings are not really happy with it? Do you? Don't you think some kings will not be happy with it? Like me saying that idolatry is not part of kingship. Yes, it was sensitive. That was what I was asking you. So that's that you don't up against so some I'm, people. I'm, 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 so that's you should know that. And for you to try to change something, you should know that you will have enemies. I'm up to that task. Are you still a Canadian citizen? Yes, definitely. Why are you so... Go and bring my passport. <laughs> you don't have to show me. I'm yeah. asking. Well, we are talk- we're, we're just a, a full-fledged Canadian. A full-fledged Canadian citizen. <laughs> I can- some people said that you can no longer travel to Canada. Ah, it's like they're telling you that you cannot travel back to Nigeria. Wondering that. Hey, can you travel to Nigeria? I'm in Nigeria. Yeah, so when you are in uh, England or in America, can you come back to I'm Nigeria? Free born. Uh, and so back here. So why would somebody tell uh, tell you that you uh, that you cannot come back to Nigeria? If anybody tells you that, does it make sense to you? Come here, see, I, I'm I'm trying to close now. Uh, there's a surge of young people becoming royal fathers. Yes. What is happening to Royal too? I thought some time ago it was supposed to be old people. Ah. I mean, I mean, Royal Father do not have fathers. <laughs> when you know that it's about service to humanity, kingship. When you know leadership is about king, is about, eh? Is about it, 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 kingship is about service to humanity. You need a lot of energy for that. You need a lot of energy for that. You see, that's a renewed, just renewed 2016 fast talk. Just recently renewed. Eh? I can see it. Just recently renewed, just one year, and this is a passport of 10 years. 
there. That's the new one. That's the new one, not even the old one. The old one, that's a recently. Like, just last year, the time of that order, brah. So, you should know that. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> well, uh, uh, the joke of the centuries is there, and rumors peddled all around. No, I'm a wealthy and, man. I'm a very rich man. What uh, do you need? Uh, what do you need? Well, in this palace, what do we need Yahoo Yahoo for? <laughs> how, how, how did you come about your wealth? Huh? How did you come about your wealth? How do I come about my wealth? I live a long time of my life overseas. Doing what? Businessman, a contractor for the government. Okay. Yeah. Water engineering. <laughs> so cleaning of um, oil spills and everything. So we have, I have a company. I have different types of companies. So it's all. <laughs> Do you know how old I am? I'll be 50 in just few months. Uh, we're in February now. In four months, I'll be 50 years old. Would, would you celebrate it, it, it depends. I don't really say I, I like to use that money to help the people rather than to say I'm using millions. I'm using millions to celebrate and just uh, when I have people that are suffering under me, I'll give that money to those to the suffering ones. The feeding school feeding program, did the government get it from you? I know they've been feeding before me. <laughs> I think Governor Yulala and Aragbe started that, right? Yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, but I, I didn't get it through there. I got it through divine. God told me to start feeding. And the day, the, and Osa is here, and Onto is here, the kingmakers won. The day that I, I said I will be feeding the people. Do you see this palace? I fixed it. First month that I came. I did this. It's beautiful. It's not that I, it's not that I, I it's not that I met it like this. The palace is beautiful. Yeah, what I met was not a palace but today I'm happy and uh, my, my subject can sit down and, uh, and, and think they're in England or they're in America mm. in my palace in this palace of the Olu of Ula. let me tell you the Olu is the one that has the land hi Adewale I don't have a land the Olu is the one that owns the palace and has a house me Adewale I don't own a personal house out there. So, let me tell you. God is on the throne. I'm the one representing him. And I own everything that God has put in mind. Any word for traditional rulers before we close? Ritualists. Cults. Everybody. Throw these kings out. Tell them to go away. That they are the authority of God on earth. They are the only hope for humanity. They are the decree. I want you to show long glory. Pastors, prophets, uh, imams, alphas, and all these people, and anybody else that call themselves traditional something, they are all can be messenger, messengers of God. Messengers of God. But the person that represents God on earth. Huh? Is the king. And the house of the king is what? Is the house of God. All those mosques and church that you see are a place to gather together and come together. Huh? The house of God, the real house of God, the abode and the seat of God on earth, on planet earth, is the palace of our kings. And it should be devoid of any other thing. That can be worshipped other than God. KBAC is God himself. When they call you KBAC, a man sitting is not the KBAC. It is the throne, the stool that is Kabiokusi. God is the only God. Kings should get it right. But these are the saints of old. And we should move away from it. Represent the real God. Kings, all kings should represent the area God. They should be over everything. Any court, any 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 other thing, kings should be over it. Not underneath. And this will bring our glory back. I am fighting for the glory of the kings. I am fighting for the glory of God. Because when a king is not human, when God is the only king, and I'm trying to bring respect and dignity back to that name, king. Huh? 
so that all kings, believe me, we can get our dignity and respect back. They can change the law and we'll be con- not only just constituted, we will be respected in the society. We kings will be respected more when people see us. Today, do you know that people respect pastors and prophets and imams more than kings? Huh? Should it be like that? They are the messenger. We represent God. I am next to God. If I represent God on earth, who should be, who should be feared more? Who should, who should people come for to decree into their lives? Eh? Who should people come to? Who should people come to to decree into their life to, make, to authorize good things in their lives? And it shall be so. Senators, presidents, doctors, lawyers, everybody should respect a king that believes in God only and that has the authority of God in their mouth. All these kings that we will see they have the authority of God, but if you are under something, that authority will not happen. Here in the woodland, thank God, we have the authority of Allah. And that's why you see Iwo, that you can hear it everywhere now. Because that's the God walking wonders. Kabiosi, thank you for speaking with Splash FM. Thank you. And that's it on Insight for this week on Splash 105.5 FM. The Integrity Station. I do hope you had a wonderful time listening to this edition with the Olu of Woland, His Imperial Majesty Oba Abdurashid Adewale Akambi Telu Wan. For more inquiries, comments, and suggestions, you can reach me on S Akinola at Splash FM 1055.com. S Akinola at Splash FM. 1055.com That's my email address at Sheung Omakiola at Sheung Omakiola That's my Twitter handle You can reach me also on 081-124-94231 081-124-94231 Until next week when we'll engage another personality of note Stay lifted And that's it on Insight for this week on Splash 105.5 FM, the Integrity Station. I do hope you had a wonderful time listening to this edition with the Olu of Woland, His Imperial Majesty Oba Abdurashid Adewale Akambi Telu Wan. For more inquiries, comments and suggestions, you can reach me on S. Akinola at Splash FM. 1055.com S. Akinola at Splash FM 1055.com That's my email address at Sheung Omar Akinola at Sheung Omar Akinola That's my Twitter handle You can reach me also on 081-124-94-231 081-124-94-231 Until next week when we'll engage another personality of note stay lifted.